In this video, I will share with you five tips on how to organize Gmail. Choose an inbox type that suits you. To do so, click on the gear icon and scroll a little bit down and you'll see that you have different inbox types available. Now I'm going to show you the default because you can customize that. So if you click on customize, you can tick off these boxes. You can say you want social, promotional, uh, let's say updates. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this. What is that going to do? So it's giving us different inbox types. It's saying, these are my, this is my primary inbox with my messengers here, are any social tabs. So let's say if you have LinkedIn and LinkedIn sends you updates and Instagram and whatnot, then that will pop up here promotion. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's our Google workspace newsletter. Perfect. So that is something that, you know, will appear in promotion. You can go back and updates here have also been some updates. Let's, uh, for instance, on calendar events or on files that have been shared with us comments on documents. So that is a way to organize your inbox. Now in my specific setting, let me just go ahead and customize that again. I personally, work with these three. So this is how I've set up my inbox. And I think this is super practical because I get, for instance, a lot of YouTube comments and replies to answers I've given. I don't want that cluttering up my primary inbox, but it's okay to have it here in the social. So whenever I want to dedicate time to that, I'll change over into this inbox. But if we go back, I'm guessing you've seen that if you scroll a bit more down, there's also the important, the unread first star priority in multiple inboxes. So I would suggest play around with this. Um, I've, I've actually for myself, I've tried the unread first for some time, which I think is an interesting option because it helps you to focus on the messages that, you know, have come in and you have not read, have not in some way processed yet. And anything or everything else are just all the messages you have in some way or another already processed in any case are already read. So check that out with the different inbox types. Enable reading pane. I know that especially a lot of Outlook users would like to have a reading pane instead of having to click open every message. So head over to the quick settings, scroll down. And currently there's no split, but let's say we wanted um, a reading pane below our messages. We're going to have to reload. Okay. So let me just go ahead and click on this message here. There you go. There's a newsletter. Um, if you prefer to have the reading pane on the right, you can do so as well. If anytime you do not want that anymore, then you just can go ahead and say no split, which is the default for Gmail, but do go ahead and try that out. Use the conversation view. Now, currently the conversation view is on. That means that let's have a look at this message here. This is a thread. This is a message thread as it's called in Gmail. So all of the messages within this thread are displayed as one here visible in the inbox. What happens if we undo that. If we say the conversation view should be turned off, then my inbox will, so to speak, grow because now if I have a look at this, it's one message. It's not the condensed conversation view anymore where they're grouped together in a thread. But now instead for every message, I have a separate listing, which, you know, makes my inbox bigger. And I honestly think it's a little bit more confusing. That's why I always make sure that I have the conversation view enabled. Use labels to organize Gmail. I would be lost without labels in Gmail. It's for me, a very easy way to organize messages that are, you know, from certain customers or concerning certain topics. As you can see here, you can I'm just going to click this. You can add one or multiple labels to any given message and you can move labels to message. So I'm just going to um, take this here and put this in the budget here. I'm just clicking randomly. So now if you click on budget, I will see all of the messages that have that specific label. And let's go back to inbox. I do also want to mention that labels aren't folders. 
if you are a former Outlook user, you think in folders, Gmail users think in labels. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, or if you don't know why you need to know the difference, why it's crucial to understand that labels are labels and not folders, then do check out my video that I, that I am linking right now. Use filters to automatically apply labels. Let's say that all of the emails we get from Adam are concerning the project redesign, and we want every new incoming email from him to automatically receive that label. And in this case, maybe even to skip our inbox so that we just check the project redesign for any new messages from Adam. And as a matter of fact, you might see that too on the same line of project redesign. That means that there are two unread messages in that label. So I'm going to go ahead and select this email, click on the three dots and say filter messages like these. And it's saying, ah, it's from Adam. I could have also just clicked here on this icon and then typed in his email address. And I'm going to say create filters. So if I just go maybe one step back, just to show you, you could really change this. You could say whatever comes from Adam and has the subject redesign in it or has specific words in the message. So this is a really, really powerful tool that you can use to filter out messages. We're going to keep it easy with just the email address. We're going to say that whatever he sends is going to skip the inbox and we're going to apply the project redesign label. And this is really cool. This is a super feature because it says, do you also want to apply this filter to the 24 matching conversations? So it's recognized that there's 24 conversations within my Gmail where this would apply. And if I tick the box there, then they all would automatically receive the project redesign um, label and should be and will be removed from the inbox. But we won't take that box. We'll just use it for new ones. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just write a random message to Jane. Let's call this test and let's see what happens. So it's not going to appear in our inbox. Instead, it's going to be directly moved to the project redesign label. Now I'm just going to go ahead and refresh here to trigger this. If we go into the project redesign, there you go. There's our test. So now the counter is up to three before it was on two. And we see timestamp right now that we received this email. We go back to the inbox. It never appeared there. Instead, it was automatically added to the label um, of project redesign. And uh, by the way, did you see that light bulb in front of the, uh, the label name? I think that's a super cool little hack that you can use for labels that you really want to, you know, to stand out. Or if you're just an emoji fan, then you can add emojis to your label names. I'm wondering which of these five tips help you the most to organize your Gmail. Let us know in the comment section below and also go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos.